Hi, this is uh, Nancy Blizzard. This is a big show entertainment network and a special event, Daisy Blue Fashion Variety Show. I am the host. And my co-host is Shanae McConnell. Hi, we're really excited. This is our first show. We're at Native Hotel in beautiful downtown Denver. And we want to shout out to our sponsor, um, Tony and Guy. It's a full service uh, salon in Park Meadows. So yeah. This is so exciting. Yeah. It's our first show. And you know what's even better? We have a great guest list tonight. Amazing people, They're so talented here in Denver. Yes, that's so exciting, I know. And you know, our first guest is Haley Sprung, and she's a supermodel here in Denver. And let's welcome her. Yay, Haley. Hi, Haley, how are you? Good, good. So uh, thank you for joining us. We're trying to showcase Denver's talent, and you're a perfect example. So can you tell us a little bit about um, your modeling career thus far? Um, so far it's been really great. It's just, do you want me to take this? <laughs> um, I model mostly locally. I actually just got back from New York and I met with a couple agencies there um, lately, but I started out in Salt Lake City actually, and then made the move to Denver because uh, my husband's work. So just came here for work and uh, it's a really great market in Denver. There's a lot going on. There's they keep me my agency I'm with Donna Baldwin talent and they keep me really busy so it's really fun it's a lot of commercial advertising work um, and surprisingly a lot of fashion so there's a lot of you know runway shows and, and that going on here as well so yeah. and how long have you been modeling um, I signed with my first agency about 15 years ago so it's been a, a little while a fun little ride yeah it's been really great well, it sounds like you have a lot of experience um, can you tell me more about what it's like to be a part of an agency and kind of your journey thus far in the agency world? So I've been, I actually started out with agencies. So my first agency, um, I am still represented through them in Salt Lake City, it's Urban Talent. And they have been really great. It's being with an agency is awesome in the modeling world because you have someone in your in your court, you know? So I've, I've been going to school and doing other things along the way. So they were really able to reach out to clients and, and market me. Whereas if your freelance is a little bit, you know, more on you, <laughs> you have to like, you know, have, have some more time to, to put into that, that way. So being with an agency has been an awesome experience. And I've always pretty much always been represented. Um, right when I moved here to Denver, I was pregnant. So I had a baby. <laughs> so it took me a minute to meet with an agency because I was, I was it's like seven months long, but I met with them a couple months after having her and just signed and got working right away. So it's been really fun to have them um, at Donna Baldwin. I, I've, it's like a little family, you know, and they really think of you and they, you check in and I've, you know, I took them cookies and, you know, so it's just, it's great to have those people that are really looking out for you and looking out for your interests and that sort of thing. So awesome. yeah, it's been great. What kind of career goals do you have or something that you want to aspire to? The Denver market has actually kept me really busy, which is super awesome. And it's really convenient with, you know, kids and, and other things, other ventures that I have going on. Um, but lately I've been reaching out to other agencies, you know, in New York City and LA and San Francisco and just kind of across the nation and, and doing some of that. So I'd, I'd like to, you know, get a little bit more work now that my kids are bigger and I can <laughs> get away from them a little bit easier. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to go and do some, some traveling with it, you know, kind of try different markets as well. So yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Don't limit yourself. Yeah. Art, art is powerful. How does modeling make you feel? I and mean, what kind of, uh, what does it bring out in your personality? Oh, what a question. It's, it's really a blast. It's super fun. Um, the people, in, especially in this industry, are, are pretty relaxed and low key. It's not a huge fa you know, fashion market, so there's a lot of the catalog and, and uh, print work. And it's a really exciting thing to be on a shoot and to be creating something with a team with a lot of different people um, and collaborating and, and then seeing the end result of everybody's work and all the effort that has been put in. So it's, I mean, it's it's a little bit of a confidence booster to see that final result and see when everyone's really happy, you know, and you can feel like you've done a great job and, and put in some effort as well. And, and so Haley, uh, you've been here in Colorado. How do you feel about the, the market here in Denver? Do you feel like it's expanding? Do you think Denver's really becoming a major hub here? Um, 
I, I feel like I've even seen a little bit of an increase since I've moved here, which hasn't been long. I've only been here um, about two years. But yeah, so it's kind of a new, new little thing. And I've seen a lot. Um, I mean, there's tons of creative people here. The designers here. I just had a bridal fitting, you know, for a local designer. And you should see the stuff that is coming out of her studio. It's just, it's, she's really magical. So there are some people here that don't feel like they need to move to a different market. They feel like they can really excel in this market. There's a lot happening with, you know, all the Denver Fashion Week stuff and Latin Fashion Week and just all the different shows going on. Neiman Marcus, you know, there's there's a lot going on here for sure. So it's a, f a great market. I'm, I'm happy how busy I've been. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. Yeah, that's really neat to know that Denver's becoming a hub, you know, the middle of America, because it's always been LA or New York. So that's really nice to hear. Middle you got it. You got it. I can tell you really like fashion. I love your outfit. Do you mind standing up so the audience can see this? Is this the coolest or what, right? Oh my gosh, I love that. Yes, that is so cute. Wonderful, that is so really, and you really, really looks great on you. Have you always liked fashion? Has it always been something that you've been drawn to? Yeah, so I, um, when I was a little girl, I, I was sure that I was gonna be a fashion designer like tons of sketches and the drawing and I ended up going to school for interior design so not quite not quite the same but um, even now I'm, I'm obviously feeling like maybe I'll just you know dip into that a little bit more dip into the fashion side a little bit more so I can definitely see that maybe when I get a little bit more time that might be something I do down the road but it's always fun to you know attend the events here it's a good good you know excuse to get out and be fashionable and <laughs> you know try something new wardrobe wise that you might not just do on a normal day-to-day -day basis because of our market here having so many events so yeah can you describe your most memorable photo photo shoot oh gosh, most memorable. <laughs> yeah. part of the thing about modeling is you never know where you're going to end up so sometimes you are on you know a bridal shoot and every time i wear a wedding get dress i'm like oh this would have been my dress and then you put on the next one you're like oh this would have been my dress <laughs> like oh this anyways so um you know and then one time i also do some promotional work and one time i ended up at a barbecue convention like just the range of what you end up doing is never it's never like it's all moment right like it's very interesting um one of the one photo shoot i it was a beauty shoe and we had um, fruit and it was like grapes and cherries and tomatoes. And we were just in a big studio and you know, they had ladders and stuff cause they were shooting from above. It was just all around. And I was laying there on the floor, uh, I guess with all the fruit around. And then we were just shooting, you know, maybe waist up. <laughs> so I had like sweats and socks on. And it's just funny cause you don't know the behind the scenes, you know what's really right. happening. So, but yeah, it's, it's always great because it's never a dull moment. It's always, you know, the team is so funny and, you know, or, or things falling down on set or, you know, just whatever right. it is. There's always fun, fun little behind the scenes stories. So, yeah. Awesome. And where can we find you on social media? Um, my Instagram is my name. So it's really creative, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's easy to find me. I did it because it's easy to find. It's my name. It's Haley Spung. So it's H-A-I-L-E-Y-S-P as in Paul, U-N-G. So just easy, easy. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show today. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Our next guest is Wilhelmina model and musician, Sandy Siegel. It's a pleasure having her on my show. Hi, Sandy. Sandy, I just wanted to know how you got started in modeling and as a musician, your dual careers. Hi, it's so nice to be here with you. Thank you for having me. Um, music has been a long time thing. I started as a child. My mom was a concert pianist and I listened to her play Chopin and all kinds of classical music. And then like many of my generation wanted to play the Beatles. So I started playing guitar, then came Bowie and I'm a huge progressive rock fan from, from the 80s. So. That was my early start in music and it's morphed over the decades, literally, into I do both yoga and contemporary music. So both of those things. Uh, as far as music uh, modeling goes, uh, Denver Fashion Week a year and a half ago had a casting call for models who were 50 or older. 
And my son had been covering Denver fashion. And I said, if I have a good hair day and my jeans fit good, I'm going to go do that. <laughs> so the goddess was good and both things happened. And I went and got cast to walk for an amazing local designer named Steve Sells. And so I've done four segments for Denver Fashion Week since that time. I've been a part of other fashion shows and I'm going to walk in Latin Fashion Week for Brooks Luby, who's another phenomenal local designer. And that's how I got started. Uh, being a young artist myself, it's really cool to see a woman, you know, make it in this industry. It's so, so hard. Um, what would you say is the number one thing that you struggled with the most on your journey? Do you mean more for music wise or just in general? Well, one of the things is ageism. And, uh, you know, obviously I've let my hair go natural and people look at that and kind of put, want to put you in a box, especially with music. But, you know, music, um, both for age and being a woman, sometimes you're moved to the back of the room, but I just don't allow for that. <laughs> And luckily I've had great collaborations with people. I'm so lucky I have uh, people in my life who support me both in my profession and emotionally. Uh, so finding the right community to support you is very important. Uh, people who believe in you, who cheer you on and are honest with you as well. So uh, it is difficult, but really the world is opening up. Social media has allowed for a lot of that. And then the, the population is opening to people of all ages and sizes and voices and genres are mixing in music, which is my favorite thing. I love when somebody can really mix. So I think, uh, yeah. Sandy, tell me what inspires you to write music. How do you write music? And describe the type of music that you write, please. I have a lot of inspiration from my dream world. I wake up from dreams and the lyrics come. Uh, the stories in my dreams that are very apparent. And so I write lyrics usually first and then the music comes afterwards. I consider myself more of a lyricist than a songwriter. My band makes my music a lot better than I could ever do on my own. So that's one of the main areas. I have studied a certain philosophy in yoga for a long time, 20 years, and I draw a lot on Hindu mythology, uh, I, but I bring it into the modern world. And that informs a lot of what I write for music as well. So I don't know where the music comes from. It's, if there's anything supernatural, it's that. It's like, I just say, I don't know, somebody gave it to me. And I, I feel like I'm just channeling it. and. So grateful for that. Yeah, that's so powerful and really neat because a lot of people struggle with that. So if you just let it flow and let it happen, it happens. Who's your favorite designer that you've worked with? Or what do you like to wear? What's your favorite um, style and designer? Do you, do you have any? I, it depends on the day. I am, a, I love rock and roll. I love rock and roll. <laughs> so some days it's going to be pleather and ripped jeans. And some days it's going to be the first designer I work for, Steve Sells here. And he makes beautiful, flowy, uh, hand dyed garments. Um, I am a huge fan of Armani in the bigger picture. I just, everything that I see that comes out of that house, I, I have messaged them and say, you need to hire a mature model. I want to work for you. So there's so many great designers in Denver. People who have been around for a while, new designers. I've worked for both Gino Velarde, who's been here forever, Steve Sells, Brooks Luby, and then new and up and coming designers, Dark Moth Industries. She is a young woman who really, oh, I don't know how to describe her clothes. So it really depends on the day. So you have two creative passions. You have modeling and music. Is there something that you, do you prefer one over the other or do you like, just like them both? Some days I like them both. <laughs> Some days I don't like them. <laughs> um, no, I love them. It's, they both push me into new places that I never thought I'd go. I never thought I'd be modeling at almost 60 or, I have this space in my life right now after my three children are grown to create. And uh, it, it of course, as I spoke earlier, it's about collaboration. Uh, 
So more so, uh, I look to that. And when the collaboration is just right, it is such a joy. There's so much beauty and joy in it. Uh, so it happens both in the modeling and music. Um, it depends on the day again. I'm, I'm moody, I guess. <laughs> you are truly inspiring. Yes, thank you so much. And where can we find you on social media? I have two websites, Sandy Siegel, S-A-N-D-I-S-I-E-G-E-L.com. That's my contemporary music and modeling. I also do Vedic and Sanskrit chanting, and that's Shakti Sandy, S-H-A-K-T-I-S-A-N-D-I.com. And on Instagram, I'm S-A-N-D-I underscore Siegel. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Anything else? Oh, thank you, Sandy. Thank you so much for being on the show. I have one more question there for you. Um, could you just let us know what instruments you play? I play guitar and piano. Those are my two main uh, writing and performing instruments. For yoga music, I play something called the harmonium. It's a very simple keyboard that is uh, air over reeds. But piano and guitar, I started on piano uh, and I write on both. It depends on what's, what the song needs. Some of my songs are more folky and they tend to be better on guitar. And then uh, piano and I have a fantastic keyboard. So I do a lot of synthesizer work and things like that. I want to thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Our next guest is Maggie Burns. She's a bridal designer here in Denver, and we're so glad that she's here. Maggie, how long have you been making people beautiful on their special day? Well, it started when I graduated from college. Um, my friends and family knew that I knew how to sew, so they started asking me to make bridal gowns for them. So throughout uh, the rest of my career until 2010, I was making gowns uh, just you know here and there on the weekends and in the evenings while I was going through a corporate career. And um, then in 2010, I decided that it was time for me to really pursue my passion and uh, go full time. So that's when I left the corporate world and started Marie Margot. It's very inspiring. And nowadays we know it's tricky to market yourself with so much competition and um, how do you market yourself and how is that working out right now for you? Marketing is a new day every day and uh, it's a it's a career within itself and so I have hired a uh, marketing um, guru uh, World Rhino marketing to help me with my marketing uh, of my products and through this we're doing an extensive social media campaign and we're also uh, going to be doing a production coming up soon that is a cause-based um, uh, event that'll be uh, held in Denver and we're going to be featuring people from various parts of um, causes throughout um, the world basically. October is a great month for the, um, you know, it's breast cancer awareness, it's um, uh, 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 domestic violence month, it's, um, I don't know, there's several causes that uh, mental health awareness. So we feel like being able to bring all of those people together in an amazing event with um, fashion, music, um, bringing awareness to these causes. It's, you know, it's the little things that we do that help our brothers, everybody in the in the world. And so, um, you know, I've been searching for a really, really long time as Marie Margot, looking for a, um, you know, a charity or something that I could contribute my energies towards. And um, 
uh, when Eddie and I were talking the other day and this came up, it just feels so right because we can bring awareness to so many different causes that um, if we focus on just one night, then it leaves out everybody else. So we'll be bringing people from those uh, various parts of, um, of America to um, contribute to our evening and so we'll have fashion music um, good times we'll have um, you know some sober times because we'll have stories of people who have gone through a lot and who have ex have come out the other side and are able to um, uh, share their stories with everyone so it's going to be an amazing amazing night so that's, um, first of all, that's where our marketing is going. And um, I am being very um, dedicated to bringing my um, collection to the boutiques across the U.S. So that's, um, that's the big picture. That sounds so exciting. I love the idea of us inspiring each other, right? Because we can certainly do that for each other. We can see, look look what I have done and we inspire others and we, you provide that kind of growth for other people. I love that. That, that I Thank you so much for sharing that. Tell me, Maggie, there must be something that we don't know about you, something special, right? So you must have something to share that. <laughs> I've got stories. <laughs> well, I grew up on a on a ranch outside of uh, like between Glenwood Springs and um, uh, Grand Junction, and throughout my uh, young adulthood, I ended up one summer taking pack trips on horseback into the high mountains outside of Marble, Colorado, to um, um, take clients fishing and hiking and things and um, that was quite an experience because it's uh, challenging you know you have to um, uh, challenge yourself to be aware of the weather and you have basically care of someone else that is from you know Georgia or something and uh, they're not aware of what can happen in the Colorado mountains. And then they also like to catch fish. <laughs> so that's uh, one of the things that I have done in my life that not many people know. That's excellent. You have some beautiful ladies that are gonna show some of your beautiful creations. Can we have them over here, ladies? Uh, this is Kira, and she's showing my um, Athena gown. And um, this is Claudine showing my Meghan Markle gown. <laughs> um, those of you who are um, Brits at heart uh, and saw Meghan Markle's uh, reception dress would appreciate the fact that she copied my idea for a dress. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, ladies. Tell us, Maggie, where we can find you on social media. I'm on Instagram. Uh, <clears throat> it's at Marie Margot Couture. And I'm on Facebook of Marie Margot Bridal Couture. And uh, I'm on Twitter um, as Maggie... Um, Mm, I forgot. <laughs> I'm on Twitter. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maggie. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining this. This is Nancy Blizzard. If it's fashion, it's Daisy Blue. And make sure you stop by Native Hotel. It's a beautiful hotel here in downtown Denver. It's the best. And my co host, I'm so glad you're here, Shanae. Thank you for having me. And be sure to stay tuned on August 8th. We're going to have some more special guests. We're going to have Heather Brooke. She's former Miss Colorado. She's a model. She's part of the um, Big Show Entertainment Network as well. And we're also going to have Jennifer Castillo or Costello, excuse me, Jennifer Costello. <laughs> and she's the creator of Generation Apparel. So stay tuned.